welcome to Easy English by Eddie Singh and today we are taking out one of the poems of class 10 titled Fire and Ice written by Robert Frost. Well children, you would like to ask me questions. Sir, what is this poem about? Well, Fire and Ice written by Robert Frost elaborates the idea of understanding equality, sympathy and mutual understanding. The way the world is moving towards you know self-destruction, the poet has made a point that only mutual understanding, love, sympathy and equality can bring out peace on this world and for that reason the poet has underlined the need of mutual understanding. Fire essentially symbolizes uh, desire, passion. Every human being in the modern age is passionate. He is desirous. He wants to do everything that he is longing for. So too much of passion can lead to destruction. So the poet envisages two possibilities that the world will end either in fire or in ice. What he means to say that it is very possible that um, the world will end in fire. That means the cause of passion or the, you know, the lust for desire will end into the destruction of the world. He considers the age old question of whether the world will end in fire or ice. Both the two regions contrast each other. Yeah, but, but the fact is that we, the people believe that too much of passion can become a cause of destruction. So either the world will end in fire, that is, you know, that means if there is too much of passion and if there is lack of understanding, the world will end in fire. On the other hand, ice symbolizes coldness, indifference. And, and also hatred. If we, you know, inculcate hatred with one another, if we develop hatred, indifference towards one another, that will also be the cause of destruction to the world. So the world will end either in fire or in ice. Eventually, ice symbolizes hatred, indifference and coldness. And that is also good enough to bring out an end to this world. Too much fire and passion, too much, I mean, hatred and indifference can be the cause of destruction of the world. Now to talk about the stanza, the first stanza I would read out, some say the world end in fire, some say in ice. From what I have casted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. The poet wants to say and he analyzes about the end of the world. The poet provides and deals with the possible causes for the end of the world. He considers the age old question of, you know, whether the world will end in fire or in ice. Both the two regions contrast each other and hence the people are of the opinion that either the world will end in fire or in ice. Frost says that there is a powerful reason to believe that greed and jealousy, which are symbolic of greed and jealousy, which are symbolic of ice, are most powerful cause of destruction of the world. Second stanza says, if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Suffice means sufficient. On the other hand, in the second stanza, the poet is very much sure of the destruction of the world. He says that the way the people are in hatred with each other, the people are in indifference to each other, that, that there may be a cause of, I mean, destruction of the world. Hate is also the most powerful cause 
that can destroy the world. Therefore, the poet wants the reader to understand the need of inculcating mutual understanding, sympathy and peace that can really save the world from destruction. So children, this poem in a nutshell we can say is an appeal to the people of the world to develop mutual understanding, sympathy and, <coughs> and a kind of friendship in establishing peace on the earth. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.